A once in a lifetime event is bringing many out of staters to the capital city this week. The National Eucharistic Pilgrimage is the first of its kind at, at its scale. We caught up with some believers at St. Joseph's Church to learn more about this special procession. Thousands of people have traveled across the nation for the historic Eucharistic pilgrimage, coming from the north, south, east, and west. Yeah, there's only three stops in Kansas, and so we're blessed to be one of those major stops. There are some states in the country that don't get a single stop, and so we feel blessed just to have one of them. And so Topeka is one of them. We begin here today at St. Joseph Church. We'll end at Assumption today. We'll have an evening event tonight at uh, Most Pure to Mary Church. And then tomorrow we'll begin again at Assumption and uh, end at Brown versus Board. We'll do a little prayer service at Brown versus Board tomorrow as it continues on its way to Indianapolis. During the week of the Pentecost, which is May 17th through the 19th, each route will walk with Jesus across the country for two months. This. I just, the excitement of being part of this history is unbelievable. And I can't, our heads can't fathom the hundreds of thousands of hours across the country planning this and then planning the National Eucharistic Congress. On July 16th, all four branches of the historic pilgrimage will converge in Indianapolis for the 10th National Eucharistic Congress. In, in the Catholic faith, we believe that the Eucharist is the body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is an opportunity for us to honor Jesus and honor the good things that he did by sacrificing himself for us. Some believers will walk hundreds of miles to be a part of the rare event, with the last one being more than 80 years ago. This is a one-time thing, so this will probably be the only time this happens in our lifetime coming through Topeka. When states like Florida don't get a single stop, none of the North Dakota, North Dakota or South Dakota, uh, some of the other states don't get a single stop, and here we are, Topeka, Kansas, uh, blessed to be able to host this event, so we're, we feel honored. So. The pilgrimage procession will continue tomorrow at 9 a.m. at Assumption Church in Topeka and end at the Brown versus Board of Education Historical Site. And of course, we have more details about the National Eucharistic Pilgrimage on our website.